controversy brewing on the south side where a man wants to open a salon for men. Many think, though, it will turn into a strip club. WGN's Dana Rebick is joining us from the South Shore neighborhood with more on this story. Dana. Well, the man who wants to open this business says that he is a U.S. Navy veteran. He currently owns a landscaping and snow removal business, and he says he wants to help revitalize South Shore. But due to what he calls rumors and pushback from some people in the community and the local aldermen, he's not sure this venture will get off the ground. It's nothing but boarded up community. Is boarded up storefronts, vacant, and it's been that way for over 10 years. South Shore resident Derek Merrill decided to buy this building at 2672 East 75th Street back in March. I just had a vision to create like a one stop shop where you can come get your nails done, you can get a massage, you get a haircut. Um, basically, you can watch sports on the TV. Merrill says he applied for a business license to open Pharaoh's Gentleman's Spa. So far, he has invested $80,000 into renovating the space. But recently, he says rumors started circulating online about a grand opening party. I got an email that, you know, talked about this, you know, being basically a, a fake uh, a fake barber shop, you know, salon, nail salon, like, you know, for prostitution and, you know, things of that nature, a, a, a front business for crime. It said strippers ate until, and then it had other things that were listed for entertainment, you know, um, drinks and other things like that. So that doesn't sound like a spa. Some neighbors also worried about the location across the street from a daycare and down the street from an elementary school. The concerns were brought to a recent city zoning board of appeals meeting where 7th Ward Alderman Greg Mitchell spoke out against the business opening and Merrill's special use application was denied. It was no grand opening. It was no event. It was no strippers. And this, as you see, it's being set up for a barbershop, a nail shop, and a massage area. We don't have any new businesses here. Jocelyn Floyd, who is running for alder person in the 7th Ward, feels Merrill hasn't been given a fair shot. I think that people need to give him a chance. Um, I think that they need to meet him. I think they need to see his vision. But some in the community say they're not so sure. If it were really a gentleman's spa, our guys need that. It would be so nice to have that type of business be, that we can begin to see in South Shore, but it doesn't seem like that is what he's doing. We did reach out to current 7th Ward Alderman Greg Mitchell for comment today, but a spokesman says that he was not available to talk with us. But Mitchell did tell Block Club Chicago this week that he feels that Merrill, quote, put the cart before the horse when pursuing this business. He says the information posted online on that flyer he felt was a huge red flag and that the city acted accordingly. Now, Merrill says he is not giving up. He has appealed that zoning board decision. Live in South Shore, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Thank you, Dana. President Joe Biden.